Okay, let's... Yeah, more well, what? Hmm? Why? Why don't you go in there, take a shower, and I'll join you. No, come on now, babe, come on, let's let's, let's just get it on, come Why on. Why are you rushing? Why am I a rush? Hey, I'm your wife, and, and I... And I want you so much, alright? Well, I can't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, here to stay forever, so Can you just take off your clothes, baby? I will. Why don't I take these off? Yeah. Join you in the bathroom while you get some hot, steaming water. Oh, come me. on, I don't do that to me, huh? You know, I'm really turned out right now. You know what water does to <laughs> the engine wrong, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go in there and I'll join you, okay? What? Come on, Fred. Are you sure? I am sure. Are you sure? Hmm? What do you hmm? like for me to give you a hot bath? Oh. Scrub your back? Mm -hmm. And scrub your rubber top top? <laughs> <laughs> you know how I get every time you say that, right? Okay, so, okay. How long will you take, baby? Scrub your back. How long will you take? Mm -hmm. How long will you take? Just a minute. I'm mean, just sure? hold this off. You're sure? Very sure. You're sure? Alright, I'll be waiting for you. Okay? Yum, yum, yummy! <laughs> I am so lucky. Honey? Yes, babe? Is the water hot yet? Well, yeah. Waiting for you, babe. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Make sure you scrub those tubba dubba hubba hubba. <laughs> Sophia. My wife? Where's, where's my wife? Huh? Well, I am Inspector Kelvin from B Division. Okay. Uh, we got a distress call from this address that someone was screaming for help. What, 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 screaming? What, what, what are you talking about? That question should be mine. What's, what's going on here? I don't know! Alright? I don't, I don't know! I have no idea, Inspector! I don't know! You know what? But, but thank God you're here, alright? Because my wife is missing! All right, I, I don't know. You know, I was I was just gonna call, pick up the, the clearly. Yes. With all this blood on the table. No, I should have done. It's not what you think. All right, I, I was in the bathroom, having my bath, and I was chit chatting with my wife. Suddenly, I couldn't get a feedback from her, so I I I I I, I came out, look look for her in the bedroom. I, I couldn't find her, only for me to run down the stairs. And now, listen. In my house. All right, look, you have to believe me, officer. You have to follow me down to the station. What? Yes. My wife is missing, officer. My wife is missing. Help me find my wife. You gotta help me. You gotta help Not me. until you follow me down to the station because you have some explaining to do. Officer. I need to help my wife. My wife is missing. And I have blood in my, in my house. I, 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 I don't know what is going on. You are wasting my time, Mr. Man. Okay, okay. okay. At least wear something. Can, 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 can I get into something decent? Okay, but I have to go with you. Uh, what? All I told you is what happened. Alright? How I didn't harm my wife. How is that even possible? We just got married and right now I shouldn't be sitting down here. You are here because your wife is nowhere to be found. 
But if you keep me here and keep asking the same question over and over again, how are we going to get to the end of it? I am doing my job. Yes, Officer John. Where? Okay, keep her there. I'll be there in a minute. All right, thank you. My wife? Did they find... Where is she? Where is she? Did they find my wife? Your mother, you know, is here. Did you call her? Oh, yes, I called her. I mean, she's my mother-in-law. She's my wife's mother. I, I, I tried to call everyone that, that could help. You never can tell. She, she could help us with leads that, that could, could find my wife. Can you, can you please... Can I see her? Please. Sorry for badging in on you this way. I know it's not proper. But look at you. Come on. You are a gorgeous woman. I mean, <laughs> I, I couldn't just help but, you know, make your acquaintance. It's my name is Fred. And I'd like to be your friend. Sorry. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem at all. I, I live in this town. I don't know if you live here. Do I know you? Not exactly. I am sure that um, if I had met you before, we would have been friends before now because you're like the proverbial golden <laughs> fish. You stand out amongst all. Um, I'm into events, management, and I, I meet a lot of people from time to time. <laughs> Do you know every woman in this town, Mr. Fred? Not exactly, but I'd like to know you. Well, my name is Sophia, and when I have any events, I'll let you know. You never know. You just might need my services someday, but you don't mind me asking. What do you do? I'm into telemarketing. I have a very hectic work schedule and I hardly, and I mean hardly, socialize. Come on, I know you are wine sometimes. I'd like to see you again. Please, come on. I don't know. If, if you give me your number, I could walk around your time schedule. Trust me. Please. I'll give you my business card. For any terms of business, you can contact me. I will call you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
promoted again? Uh, every day is not my birthday, Mom. It's not a matter of promotion. Okay. It's about my future. Your future? You want to invest your money again? Is my life all about work and money? Mommy. Then what? Mom, I am in love. I'm engaged! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> god, I'm so happy for you! <laughs> oh my god! But, but baby, the last time we spoke about this, you said you weren't ready yet. And suddenly this? I know, but life happened. And I was swept off my feet. Now you know I don't easily get swept off my feet by any man. But Fred, Fred is just, he's so amazing. He's perfect. He's ambitious. I know it's just a month, Mom, but he's the perfect man for me. My dear, don't, don't you think that this period is too short for you, for you to know all these things about him? Even to accept his proposal? Have you met his parents? Do you know where he comes from? Where he walks? What he... I mean, I mean how did you... Mom, what? I am going to tell you everything. Ah, you're the one that have been praying for, for me to meet a man. And I finally did. <laughs> Please be happy for me now, Biko. Okay. You know I'm happy for you, my dear. Your happiness is my happiness, you know that. I know. But, but I just want you to do the right... Mom, sure I need your right support. Mind? Yes. Okay. Just support me. So when am I going to meet this man? Mom, you're going to meet him next week, okay? Next weekend. He's amazing. You're going to love him. Really? Yes, you will. You said it about me? You're going to love him. Okay. Okay, wait. please. I'm hungry. What's in the house? Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you, you startled me. I wish I could do worse to a useless player like you. Okay, Clara. <clears throat> what do you want? I want you to cancel that rubbish engagement with Sophia. Really? And why would I do that? Because it's supposed to be me. <laughs> You're joking now, right? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Huh? You and I know that marriage was never part of the bargain. What's wrong with you? You oh, know that, right? Really? Yeah. So what was? Oh, we're having fun. You enjoyed me, I enjoyed you. We're having fun. We had a good time. The same fun you distribute to every girl in town? You see, that's your problem. You see, this is the reason I would never marry you. You're petty, you're small-minded, and you have a low mentality. You see, that's your problem. And you are a useless and shameless womanizer. I'm a womanizer. Yet I have found myself a woman who is way above your league. What, do you think you're anything to be compared to my Sophie? Come on, man. Please, leave me be. Well, we'll see how long this your new passion will last. And honey, I will have the last laugh. Did you just threaten me? Fred, I will deal with you. I will deal with you, Fred. Mark my words, I will deal with you. Oh my goodness, I am so disappointed. Are there even you? Even you! So there are no men left in this town, you have to go sleeping with Fred. Clara. You should be very disappointed at yourself. Yes. You put me into this stupid situation and yet you are talking. Wait, how can I... She put you into the situation, ha? Huh? Hey, Jibo. Clara here has been sleeping with Fred too. What? Yes. Long before Fred met Sophia. You're a liar, Dad. You're a liar. Keep quiet. Clara, why should I lie? I saw you both at Nancy's wedding. Fred had you in the toilet. I recorded your steaming session with him. 
Oh, really? So you've been blackmailing him into sleeping with you? Shameless thing. Clara, you have no moral rights to judge me. We're in the same boat, sweetheart. Darling, we are not in the same boat. I give him jobs. There's a difference. What do you offer him? You offer him nothing, not my nothing. darling. You give him nothing. Don't. What do you offer him? You don't. What do you offer him? You give him you nothing. You offer him nothing, my darling. You give him anything. Fucking bitch. God. What is wrong with the two of you? Aren't you girls ashamed of yourselves? God. Can you listen to the things and words oozing out of your mouth? My goodness! I can't even bring myself to tell Sophia any of these ugly tales. It's just gonna break her into shreds. Now listen to me, both of you. Fred has made his choice. And there is nothing any of you can do about it. If you like, you can kill yourself. The gentleman is not gonna do anything about it. What is this? You girls are so despicable. God! I'm still going to pay that guy a visit. I will want him to respect himself and our friend. Ada, 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 I am warning you, stay away from my lane. Stay out of my lane because I will crush you. Mm -hmm. I am not joking, I will crush you. No, no, you have your lane. You have your lane. You have your lane. You have your lane. You Just my you duty. Can. See, one half. It is because of you I'm taking this walk. Clara, you don't get lane. You don't get level. You don't be stopping me. Will you please stop it? Stop this! What nonsense is this? I'm so gonna pay that guy a visit. That is rubbish stuff. Mom, what's going on? I don't like the kind of dreams I have these days. Are you fighting or quarreling with anybody? Fighting? I'm not fighting with anyone. I'm too busy prepping for my wedding, talk less of having time to fight with anyone, Mom. You don't have any problems with Fred? No, not at all. That one that pampers me like a small egg. <laughs> Three days ago, I dreamt about what happened between you and your brother many years ago. The day you broke his head. Come on, Mom. Can you not bring that up? That was like how many years ago? I was young and naive. Many of all people should know that I do not look for trouble anywhere. You should know that. And you remember I've gotten special help and counseling, Mom. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had an argument, talk less of fighting with someone. You're right, my dear. You've really grown beyond my imagination. But you still need to be careful. This is dry period. Please, whatever comes your way, just take it calmly. So that the devil will have no room to strike, okay? Amen, no, amen. <laughs> I've heard you. <laughs> I will make sure I stay away from any problems, from anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, Mom, remember what you promised me, that you'll come to my house a week before the wedding? Yeah, we'll see after two weeks and um, I'm putting my things together. Okay. I might fight you if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and how uh, is Fred? Fred is fine. We've just been so busy putting the weddings together.
Hello? Where are you? Yeah, Ichiro. Yes, I need to see you. Well, is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just need to see you. It's actually for your own good. Okay, uh, but I'm currently at an event um, at Aja. It's a bit far from where you are, but... I'm in my hotel room resting at the moment. I don't know if you can make it this far. Alright, tell me where you are and send me the address and I will be there. Okay. I'll do so. Very good. Alright. Any idea that Ada and Clara are very angry at you right now? They are so willing to spoil things for you out of jealousy. I know, I'm, I'm aware. I, I know how bitter those women are because, you know, <laughs> both of them have threatened me at, uh, at a different occasion, so I believe you. Seriously, you don't understand. The both of them have been at each other's neck. They have every right to do so. Come on. I'm a woman, I know how it feels to be jilted for your friend. It feels like you're no woman enough to keep a man down and all that. It's very frustrating. I know, but she was blackmailing me. <laughs> Fred, you have no excuse. You let them on. You are a willing accomplice, so don't even go there. <sighs> I know. And for what it's worth, I'm, I'm really sorry. You know, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean for the whole thing to blob this way and look this dirty. Okay? I understand I'm a man and I should be in control of my actions and myself most of the time. But, you know, sometimes I just, I don't know what happens to me. You know, I just let my feelings get ahead of me and I do things that I am ashamed of. I'm sorry. Well, um, I talked to both of them. And we came to an agreement. They both agreed to um, move on with their life and forget about the past. And they also promised that they are going to support Sophia wholeheartedly. Really? But that is because I went out of my way to convince them to just keep quiet about the whole thing. Ah, oh, thank you. Because oh, I don't know how to thank. Thank you so much. You know, because I've been wondering, you know, how do we put this whole fiasco to an end so that I can move on with my life, you know. You're welcome. But you have to avoid any form of confrontation with them. Those girls can be very dangerous. I know. Seriously, you don't know how far they can go. They have nothing to lose, but you do. So you have to be careful. Stop bragging about Sophia in their presence. Stop mocking them. Just do your thing and move on with your life. It's that simple. Stop making it look like it's a whole big thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, I should. I should. Please don't bother you. You deserve it. <laughs> no way. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't need anything. You deserve it. I don't need anything. I'm fine. I just came to just settle this with you. Nah. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Bye. Yeah, is that the bar? Yeah. Please, I would like... Um, whiskey. Whiskey, 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 whiskey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for two. For two. No, you did not. You are not serious. No, you, you did not. not. How can you describe me like that? No, you did... <laughs> now, that's, that's the last for the night. Alright? That's, that's the last for the night. Hmm? <coughs> you have to go. Mm -hmm. I know I'll call you a cab though. No, I'll call you a cab. I call you a cab and you go. Alright? You have to go. I'll go when I want to go. Why what do you want to go? Do you know what time it is? I don't care. Come on, come on, come on. See, to I'm old enough let's, to take care of let's, myself. No, this is Lagos. I can't go and no, look. Time. Let's get you a cab so mm, you can go. No, no. What? You have to go. What's wrong with you now? Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? What do you mean nothing? What are you doing? Nothing. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, come on, stop, stop now. Stop. Oh. Don't do this. 
Don't do this. No, I'm not doing it. But you're doing something. You, you're, 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 you're running your hands through. You know. I've sold 30 mm -hmm. assurances already, so this yeah. is actually like the last two. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very easy. Right. <laughs> okay. um, it's very fun, yes. It's exactly how I wanted it. So yes. it's going to come down, and mm -hmm. when he wants to come it's down, it's perfect. It's going to fit you very well. So, it's going to be very good. Oh, you want to cry now? No, no. This is very, very beautiful, and it's going to look so good. Your perfect shape. I believe my dream is coming true. Yes. Okay, okay, we're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, all right. It's okay, um, okay, so yes. the, uh, that, that woman, no, Mama. The uh, Ketra, yes, 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 she sets. It you have a bag. I don't want any problems with the food. Everything okay, so is we have okay. swallow, we have rice, we mm -hmm. have different yes, proteins, like yes. goat meat, chicken, yes. beef, asu, all those kind of stuff. Everything is okay. Ichu, so we're good. The food area, covered. Then um the decor. The woman, yes, she gave Please. us her word. She's gonna do okay, it. You know, I told Perfect. you I wanted to be like Wonderland. I want shiny, shiny. I want white and blue. Then I want sparkles. I want design. I wanted to have all the share stuff. Then I want the whole. Uh, uh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My eyes are turning. I've been feeling kind of dizzy for some days now. I don't know why. Well, maybe, maybe it's the stress. Anyway. Yeah, I understand. You know, the whole wedding stuff. Yeah, and of course. Everything. <laughs> Once we are done with everything, I'm just going to take a whole week and rest. I know. Two more weeks, everything will be over, okay? Very soon. Okay. Let me use the toilet. Let's okay. Turn off. Adrian, are you sure you're okay, Adrian? I'm fine. Why, why are you staggering like that? You're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Just when was the last time you saw a doctor? Maybe you have malaria. Have you, have you checked up for malaria? Can't really remember, but I'm okay. Just get me a drink. Spirits, precisely, please. You don't want water? No, okay. no, 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 no. Just spirits, please. I'll be fine. Okay. Thank you. This is my only addiction, though sometimes it makes me useless. But it's okay, I love it. Well, the Lord is your strength, my dear. Thank you. I'll keep the rest. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go in there, take a shower, and I'll join you. No, oh, come on now, babe. Come on, let's let's just get it on. Come Why on. Why are you rushing? Why am I rush? Hey, yeah. I'm your wife, and, and I, I want you so much. All right. Well, I can't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am so, here to stay forever, so Can you just wait. take off your clothes, baby? I will. Why don't I take these off? Yeah. Join you in the bathroom while you get some hot, steaming water. Oh, come on, man, I don't do that to me, huh? You know, I really turned out right now. You know what, what it does to... <laughs> the engine wrong, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going there and I'll join you, okay? What? Come on, Fred. Are you sure? I am sure. Are you sure? Wouldn't you mm. like for me to give you a hot bath? Oh. Scrub your back? Mm -hmm. And scrub your rubber dub dub? <laughs> <laughs> you know how I get every time you say that, right? Okay, okay. How okay. long will it take you? Scrub your back. How long will it take? Hmm? How long will it take? Just a minute. I'm mean, just sure? to hold this off. You're sure? Very sure. You're sure? Alright, I'll be waiting for you. Okay? Yum, yum, yummy! <laughs> I am so lucky. Honey? Yes, babe? Is the water hot yet? Well, yeah. Waiting for you, babe. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Make sure you scrub those tubba dubba hubba hubba. <laughs> Sophia. My wife? Where's, where's my wife? Huh? Well, I am Inspector Kelvin from B Division. Okay. Uh, we got a distress call from this address that someone was screaming for help. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screaming? What, what, what are you talking about? That question should be mine. What's, what's going on here? I don't know! Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know! I have no idea, Inspector! I don't know! You know, but, but, but thank God you're here, alright? Because my wife is missing! All right, I, I, I don't know. You know, I was I was just gonna call, pick up the, the, the. Clearly, yes. With all this blood on the table. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, it's not what you think. All right, I, I was in the bathroom, having my bath, and I was chit chatting with my wife. Suddenly, I couldn't get a feedback from her, so I I I I, I, I came out, look look for her in the bedroom. I, I couldn't find her, only for me to run down the stairs. This Listen. Is my house. All right, look, you have to believe me, officer. You have to follow me down to the station. What? Yes. My wife is missing, officer. My wife is missing. Help me find my wife. You gotta help me. Help me. Not help me. until you follow me down to the station because you have some explaining to do. Officer. I need to help my wife. My wife is missing. And I have blood in my, in my house. I, 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 I don't know what is going on. You are wasting my time, Mr. Man. Okay, okay. okay. Ah, this was something. Can, 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 can I get into something decent? Okay, but I have to go with you. Uh, what? All I told you is what happened. Alright? How I didn't harm my wife. How is that even possible? We just got married and right now I shouldn't be sitting down here. You are here because your wife is nowhere to be found. But if you keep me here and keep asking the same question over and over again, how are we going to get to the end of I am doing my job. Yes, Officer John. Where? Okay, keep her there. I'll be there in a minute. 
All right, thank you. My wife? Did they find... Where is she? Where is she? Did they find my wife? Your mother, you know, is here. Did you call her? Oh, yes, I called her. I mean, she's my mother-in-law. She's my wife's mother. I, I, I tried to call everyone that, that could help. You never can tell. She, she could help us with leads that, that could, could find my wife. Can, can you please... Can I see her? Please. Look, 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 look. I, 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 I don't understand what you're saying. You hear me? You have to do it. You just have to do it. What is wrong with you? I don't care. I do not care. All right? Look, I'm not going to let your stupidity ruin my, my, my wedding for me. What, what's wrong with you now? Huh? Look, I'm somewhere for an important meeting. Do you understand me? Don't call me again. I will call you when I'm done. Just do it. It was your fault. Just do it. Don't mind me, I'm just a bit pressed, you know. Okay. Uh, all right, I just let me ease myself all the back. Oh, sure. Okay. You know where the bathroom is? Sure. Oh.
and you can't ruin my own life and live yours happily ever after. No way. I won't take it. I'm doing no abortion. You better call me back or I will shock you. You got me drunk and raped me. And now you blame me. Don't call me back and see what happens to you. Who is it, Joel? I said, who is it, Joel? If you, if you let me explain, if you let me oh explain. God. I promise you, no, I'll tell you how it no, happened. No, no, please. No, please, baby, no, please. no, 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 please. no, 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 don't tell me it's my friend. No. Don't tell me it's the same Adrian who is planning our wedding. She seduced me. The same, what? She seduced me, I, I, I didn't mean to. Then my friend, Adrian, hey, you, calm down. you pregnated, you no. pregnated. Hey, 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 hey. You took my friend, hey. you pregnated. I beg you, I beg you, babe, babe, babe.
I don't, I'll call you a cab though. No, I'll call you a cab. I call you a cab and you go. Alright? And you have to go. I'll go when I want to go. Why, why, why do you want to go? Do you know what time it is? I don't care. Come on, come on, come on. See, I'm old enough let's, to take care of myself. This no, is Lagos. Let, I can't get, go anywhere. Look, let's get you a cab so mm, you can go. No, no. What? You have to go. What's wrong with you now? Hmm? This is my only addiction, though sometimes it makes me useless. But it's okay, I love it. Oh, Sophia. You know that I love you very well. And I would not want to hurt you on purpose. I swear to God, it wasn't me. It was Ada and Clara. They were the ones sleeping with Red. I went to talk to him to stay away from them. Just you. And, and I was drunk. Shut up! I don't want to hear you. You disgust me, Adriel. Now I give you 12 hours to leave this town. And never you return. Now if I see you around here in the next 12 hours, I'll kill you.
There was something wrong somewhere. Those dreams were not for nothing. The first day I saw that man, my spirit told me he was trouble. I looked into his eyes and I saw a harem of girls following him and him following another league of girls. <laughs> he was too nice. Too good, too smooth to be true. <laughs> now the wind has blown and we have seen it all. How can a sane man who wants to marry a woman visit her family, did the traditional rites, even fix the date of his wedding? only to go behind and start sleeping with his wife's friends and even pregnanted one. Is that not madness? An abomination. Hi. But my daughter said she loved him. What sort of stupid love? Oh, Sophia. So much work has made my daughter so naive and weak. Thank God everything is exposed early enough. My daughter would have fallen deep into a shit hole of marriage. Hey, Cordelia. What is it, Jay? Hi. Oh, what do I tell my friends? All the preparations, invitation cards shared, as should I be, etc., etc. Hi, what do I tell them? That my son in law turned out to be a useless he goat, embarrassing himself around the neighborhood. Hi. Cordelia, this is not the life you planned for your daughter. No. Oh God of Isaac, Abraham and Jacob, where have I gone wrong? Okay. Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. And nothing has changed yet. The wedding is still going to take place. What? You heard me right. I am going to marry Fred come next Saturday. No. You won't marry him. Unless you want to kill me and also kill yourself. This boy has no good plans for you, Sophia. He just wants your money so he can maintain the harem of his girls. So what do you want me to do? What? I can't go back now, can I? I am going to marry that man. Someone is pregnant for him. So what? She's already out the picture. She has left town and never to return. Oh God, help me. Help me, I don't know my daughter anymore. Mom, can't you see that they're all envious? They are all a bunch of jealous friends. They went after Fred. <laughs> but he chose me. I am going to stand by that man. Stand by a woman, Isa. A Casanova? What do you want me to do? What? Go after another man? Whom I don't know if he's worse than Fred? Besides the girl's distraction, Fred is the perfect man for me. He has a beautiful soul. 
and I love him. Oh my God. God help me. I knew it would not end well. Tell this animal to produce my daughter to help! Ma madam, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We will get to the root of this. Please kindly wait at the reception. Mr. Womanizer, you need to get your lawyer because this, this is a murder investigation. Offense inspector. No, this is a homicide case. Your client is the prime suspect. He had the motive. And, and, and what's that? A pregnant woman elsewhere. He needs to be with her. Oh, come on, inspector. This is just. This is a hearsay. Where is the woman? That is what the investigation will uncover. And that is why bail must be denied. No, 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 no inspector. You see, look, for a case to be qualified as a murder case, the evidence has to be explicit without the body of a supposed victim. This is just a, a missing case. You can't just come up from nowhere and call it a mother case. Look, you should be thinking of who else wants to harm the wife, not pinning it on my client who is just a victim here. So I put it to you that this is a case of a missing person until there's an evidence proving contrary. You know the law. We should be discussing this. We shall see to that. Then I'll be waiting. You know, somehow I still feel very funny about what happened and... I don't know, I just feel guilty every time I'm around you still. <laughs> and I just want to take this time to say that... I'm sorry. Okay? I'm really sorry. It's okay. And I have told you to stop apologizing since that day. I already forgive you. And my friends. So can we just let go and focus on our wedding, please? You know you have the heart of an angel, right? Oh, you can say that again. I know. <laughs> and I just love you. Yes, babe. And I love you more. You have been released. Oh. Really? You can go home. For now, though. 
Okay. Kanzo, I hope you know that this man must not live down. Oh, oh, but yeah. Sure. He has to make himself available for question and investigation. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Anytime you need him, just call me. I'll make him available. Good. Officer, one of the handcuffs. I'll send one of my officers to come get it. Thank you so much. It's okay. It's okay. Look, for now, you'll be staying at my place. Why? What are you talking about? What about my clothes? What about my shoes? How about my car? Huh? Fred. Yes. Honestly, I, I didn't hear. It was Bimbo who called me this morning and narrated the whole saga to me. I, I was absolutely speechless. You don't know how I feel, man. You, you don't have the slightest idea. I, my head is filled with random thoughts. Where could my wife be? You know? Who would want to hurt Sophia? Who? who? Uh, you see, I... If not for the blood stains, I would have said um, she walked out on you. Nah, Sophia. Nah, she wanted to be married. She was ex excited about the, the, the marriage, just just like I am. You know, she wanted to be, to be married. No, she she wouldn't have left me. Uh, so um, what what of this lady, Clara and um, Ada? Have you heard from them? No, I haven't. Why? Because um. This whole scenario seems to me like um, a woman's retaliation. You could be right. I mean, given the fact that these two women at one point threatened me at, at the same time, you could be right. But look, Steve, um, no, nah, I, I don't want to get them involved in this. <laughs> and, and why? Look, these are women, Steve. These are women, all right? You, you bring them into the picture, you know, they begin to dig up old calls, and then they complicate matters for me now. I just want to concentrate on finding my wife. I understand you are trying to run away from a nemesis. I do. Just leave everything to me and Manuel. We will sort things out. If you insist, but I still think that these two women are incapable of doing what you're, what you're insinuating, man. I don't think so. What? Like, hey, you should never underestimate the power of any woman, no matter how small you think she is. Never. So, um, can I have their numbers? Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's okay. I'll give it to you. Once we get in, I'll, I'll give it to you. It's not a problem. Steve. Hey. Hello, Manuel. Sorry, thing, Manuel. I never heard of anything that happened. I needed to give them time, thinking they were enjoying their honeymoon. And uh, all this happened. My brother, you know, this is life. You can expect anything at any time. Yeah, thank God you will stay around. I am doing my best for him not to be indicted. Yeah, that's true. I love the spirit. <laughs> Bro, I just calm down. Everything will be under control. Just leave everything to me and Manuel. I just leave everything to us. I both of us can be here now. What you think? It's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. I can't do it. I can't do anything to Sophia. She's my friend. Look, no. you're a blackmailer. You threatened to expose your relationship with Fred to Sophia. But when Fred called your bluff, you killed Sophia. Just tell us who you planned this evil act with. I did not plan anything with anybody. I swear I did not. I did not. Oh my God. What kind of 
problem is this? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is the kind of problem blackmailers get themselves involved in. Sergeant. Hello, Mr. My problem is this girl. My daughter. Tell me. What happened, sir? I keep asking myself, what kind of brain is inside the head of this man? That she will reject all the men that are trooping in and out of my house every day. This one will come and go. This one will come and go. Uh -huh. She will reject all of them and be running around a married man. A killer married man. Uh -huh. Ask her. Uh -huh. Since that man killed his wife, has he married her? Answer me. Daddy, did you come here to bail me or to embarrass me? Which one have you come to do? Which one, what, 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 what's the meaning of this now? I, I listen to her. So, telling you the truth now is embarrassment. That's what your mother taught you, eh? Telling you the truth is embarrassment. My brother, this is what I have suffered. Like mother, like daughter. Daddy, if you have come here to wash your family's dirty clothes in public, that is fine. But do not implicate my mother. Just leave her out of it because at the end of the day, you failed, you failed. Point blank, period. Did you hear that? Hi. My daughter is calling me a failure. Okay, now you see you the see for her. Ah, yeah, awesome. Which one gave you this? Look at this man, no. You call me this man. What's wrong with this one? Call me this man. Come and touch me. Come and touch me. No, 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 shut up your mouth there. I don't have dating manners. Come. You don't say you don't say your papa gets a hotel pack. Wait, wait, first of all, all those your useless drunk friends, are they the ones you're calling suitors? They are the ones you want me to marry, Abby? Oh. Mm. You can see my life. Chai. This is like mother, like daughter. Chai. Whatever you see in this girl, that is the mother for you. Mm -mm. That woman devastated my life. Uh, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was doing well in the civil service. I'm a qualified engineer. Huh? Yes! Grade level 12. Hey, uh... Family crisis forced me to retire. Ignominiously. No retirement. Benefit? No pension? Hmm? Nothing. Just like that. Look at me. <laughs> hey! Everything you see me put on now and trying to manage my life is things I have. I did them before. You are not ashamed of yourself. Which one give me this? You have not seen anything. They don't give me food. Huh? I cook my own food. Ask her. Ask her. Lady, in the kitchen. Oh. You don't you have not seen suffering. So you are defending your mother, eh? You came here to defend your mother. Okay, go and call your mother to, to, to bail you. Hey, okay. Let's like that. Go and have mother to bail her. You never reach like that. You never reach like that. Bring her no there. thanks for waiting. Did I call you? I said, did I call you? Go and beg. Okay, give me my phone. Let me call somebody. Come, 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 come. Enough, enough. If you talk to him now, I'll take you back to that cell. Who did I call you? I have not seen anything though. No, Papa, you must make me call him. You have not seen anything though. Now you dare the white man. Go can move, please. Let me call somebody else. Come and bring him. Ah, who's now? Who's now? All these Yahoo boys, all of them. Yahoo, 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 everywhere in my house. Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Look at her. So, tell the girl Yahoo has called. Come on. Her men are getting married. And she's just never Yahoo boys. And now she's insulting me. It's okay. We will see in the house. Your papa don't move. We will see in the house. Okay, back for her, then go. Your papa don't go. Give me, give me my phone. I don't know. Oh, please, you can't have my phone. Shut up! I don't talk to another thing, they talk to this family. I beg you my phone, my phone. It is like your papa. I will slap the living daylight out of your, this your score. Call carry phone. Call, call. Call carry phone. Mike, I just wish you were here. I just wish you were here. I need you now. I need you now. I'm not myself. Yeah, the police are still on it. That one, that Fred, he said he doesn't know anything about it. That he doesn't know her whereabouts. But I know he's lying. I know Fred has a hand in this. Oh, Mike, this is the time I need you most. I just wish you were here. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, Mike. How can I calm down? How can I calm down? 
I don't know where your sister is. I'm telling me to calm down. You're not. You aren't you worried there? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll I'll take my drugs. Okay, but when I when will you be through with your training? I need you here. Your mom can't do this alone. Mike, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Please. Okay. All right. No problem. Ah, uh, you know, it's still not clear to me how the police got to the scene at that time. And you said you didn't make any call. And you didn't hear anyone scream. No, I... I did not. You said you were singing? Oh yes, I was singing. So were you singing that loud that you could not hear anyone scream? Uh, Steve, I... I wouldn't know. You know, it's... It's all so confusing now. What's up? What are you thinking? Nothing really. I, I'm very sure something is not sitting right. But I'm sure we'll crack this puzzle. If we get to know exactly how the police got to the scene at that time. Oh yeah, well, makes a lot of sense to me. I, I think so too. So, um, this Kevin of a guy, have you met him before now? No, I... I hadn't seen him before. That was the first time I was, I was seeing him. It's okay. I'm sure the nickel will drop soon. Excuse me. What up? I, I want to see the person in charge of the case of that woman they killed after her wedding. Oh, you mean the woman that got missing a night after her wedding? Missing? Not be missing. They killed her. Missing care. In fact, I want to see the person in charge. Who is in charge of the case? Okay. That should be um, Inspector Kevin. But he went out to... Well, I don't know. But I have an important information to give. About the woman or the man? The woman! They killed! They killed! Okay, oh. sit down for charge room. Wait on uh, Kevin okay. in the car. Okay. I hope the Kevin is coming back because the information is very, very important. Too. Sit down for charge room. Are they sit? Uh, Madam, say your name is. My name is Jane, and I used to be Sophia's friend in Egweda. Few days to her wedding, we met, and she told me a whole lot of things. You know, as a Christian that I am, we're good Christian. When I heard what happened to her, I decided to come and tell the police what I know. It's okay, madam. At this stage, every information is important. Okay, so just go ahead and tell us. Well, she told me her husband was cheating on her with her friends. He even stole her money. And when she complained, he would beat her blue, black and red like a punching bag. Hold on. You mean? The husband beats her blue, black and red? Exactly! Yes. And when I asked her why she's still going into the marriage, she said uh, uh, that she had no choice. But the way she even said it, that uh, uh, she loved him desperately, that uh, she hated the way she loved him. Okay, uh, do you know this man? I mean, the husband? Yes! I know him very well. One tall, fair, handsome young man. Then looking at him, he appears gentle. You even think he's an angel, but inside of him, he's a devil. But madam, we are not here to judge characters. Okay, so just state the facts, then we'll make our judgments, okay? Well, I've said it all, but she told me you planned to kill her. What? Yes. C can you say this again? Like, repeat what you, what you said. Just repeat it again. She told me he planned to kill her. How? <sighs> because he impregnated one of her friends. And I actually wanted to marry her. I'm sure by now she will be waiting for him somewhere now that my friend is gone. Madam, can you say these things in his presence? Of course. Any day, any time. Just for the sake of the wife. Oh, such a nice and wonderful woman. Hmm. Well, thank you, um, Madam Jane, for this wonderful information. Thank you. Okay, with people like you, I mean, this country will be a great and uh, a crime-free country. Right, so just wait for us outside. I'll come and get your statement. Thank you. You heard it all. 
You've heard it from a good citizen of this great country. So now that the jigsaw puzzle is solved, I want you to come with Fred to the station for fresh questioning and clarification of this testimony. Don't tell me you believe that crap! I am the investigating officer in charge of this case, not you. So bring your client to the station. I maintain that this testimony is false! This is our best lead until proven otherwise, okay? Inspector, this is trash until it's proven true! Counsel, bring Fred your client to the station or I will order for his re-arrest. Am I making myself clear? What is going on? What is going on? What is happening to me, God? Whatever sin I must have committed, Lord, please forgive me. Ah, save me from this torture. What is happening? Ah. Something, something is seriously wrong somewhere. Where could she be? Lord, please let nothing happen to my wife if, if she's kidnapped. If she's kidnapped, the, the kidnappers would have called by now. What, what is going on? Huh? What is happening? God, please help me. Help me find my wife. Who's this? You don't know me, I know you. but I know you, and I know where you can find your missing wife. What? You know where I can find my wife? Yes. All right. Who who are who are you? Who are? It's better you don't know. Look, are you joking with me? You're, you're, you're trying to mock me. You can believe anything. Okay. So how am I sure that this is not a joke? Open the drawer. You will find a diary. Sophia's diary. It contains some informations. Useful informations that will convince you I am not joking. Look, I can't go to my house. It's been barricaded by the police. It's a crime scene. No one will know you went there. Except you told them. If you really want to find your wife, you must go now. Hello? Fred proposed to me with the most beautiful engagement ring in the whole world. He knelt and said, Sophia, will you marry me? And I said, yes. Thank you, Lord. I am sad and heartbroken. Today being the 15th day of July is my worst day. I found out my best friend was pregnant for my fiancé and my two other best friends had been sleeping with him behind my back. And my wedding is just weeks away. God, let me wake up from this dream. My best friend, Ajiro, leaves town today, 30th of July, so that our secret can be safe.
Hey, you. I, I, I see nothing here. These are just dates. Nothing. Where's my wife? Where is she? Go to number 5, Newman Street, of housing estate. You will get the answer you need right now. Hello? Hello? This case seems like a dead end. Let's not give up yet, okay? Inspector Lida is very right. I mean, can't you see it? We have to be optimistic, okay? We have to keep doing our best. Like we've been sleeping all day. Listen, Linda, listen. I know you both are exhausted. I am too, okay? But what if this woman is alive somewhere? Think! Hmm. But why haven't the kidnappers called yet? Yes, why? Exactly. Okay. What if the kidnappers want to punish the man or the woman? I mean, from all of gathered so far, this man is a chronic womanizer. Okay? So when I say something... Sorry. Yeah, hello? Okay. Where? All right, just hold on. We'll be there. Thank you. We have an emergency. Okay. The woman that is fired against Fred. Yes. Because she testified against you. That's not true. I, I, I did not do it. I'm innocent. I, I Shut did. up! I didn't do it. Move this man. Move it! It's not true. Move! 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 It. Heat is on. By now he would be answering police questions. He needs to learn a lesson or two about being responsible and being with one woman. Yes. Oh, I've worked so hard for myself and I deserve the best. I do. I deserve a peaceful marriage where my husband will adore and respect me. Not one to share with every girl or every concubines out there in town. I trust Kelvin will do the job. <laughs> Wait, but I hope he won't hurt him more. No, 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 he won't. We had an agreement and I paid him well. In a few days, it will all be over. I will come out released by some fake kidnappers. Hmm. Fred will be overjoyed to see me back. I will give him conditions to stay in the marriage. Yes, I will. I will keep reminding him of this to keep him in check. Whew, I cannot believe I pulled this off. It's better than fighting and breaking somebody's head, isn't it? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh no, my mom. Poor sweet mother of mine. She must be having more dreams and nightmares by now. But this is also for her own good. Is it not better I'm settled and happy? If so, she will also be happy.
Rage. What's going on? Shh. Just cooperate with me, okay? Listen, I am in charge here now, okay? So just cooperate with me, all right? What? What are you talking about? Listen, just cooperate with me, okay? And I will help you do something, all right? I will, I will reveal the plan to you. Okay, just plan. What plan are you talking about? Listen. Okay, fine. If you want to know, it's the next move of my man. Okay. Are you confused yet? I said, just relax, okay? Just cooperate with me and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay. Tell me the plan first. What's going on? What have you done? I should be asking you that question. What have you done? You sent this animal to come and rape me. Rape you? No. I, I only wanted him to help us. Help us what? And why did you change our plan? Listen, baby. I didn't change our plans, okay? Unforeseen things are happening, and I'm just adjusting to it. No, you listen. I only contracted you just to shake my husband up a little, so that he would stay away from those his sexual escapades, and so that I can have a good marriage. I only wanted you to make it seem like I was kidnapped by someone out there. That's the reason why we made that fake video in the first place. But no, look at what you're doing now. You're changing our plan. <laughs> Um, Sophia, baby. You know you're a very funny girl. So you think 
I am going to waste my time, my talent, to work for another man to live with you happily ever after. While I live without you sorrowfully ever after. I mean, that, that's not possible. I am supposed to be your first love here. But what did you do? You turned me down! What? You never gave me the chance to prove to you how much I love you! Now the chance fell on my laps. You want me to throw it away? Never! I won't. What are you talking about? Now listen, baby. Fred, it's going in for life imprisonment or death sentence for the mother of Jane. What? Wait, who, who is Jane? Never mind. She's just a soccer. Now listen, baby. I have all the evidence wrapped up. And after that, we're going to court. And after court, you and I will live happily ever after. You're a psycho, Kelvin. You are crazy. Baby. Remember I was the Capone back then in school. I am still that bad guy you used to know. Don't joke with me. Oh my goodness. So you mean you are out to destroy my marriage? You're the Kelvin! You just wanted to get married to him! No! I think you're punishing for all the pain it cost you! No! No, I do! It's a lie! I love my husband! I love my husband! No! It is me that you must love now! No! I can never love you, Kelvin. I can't love you. You disgust me. You... You dare see that to my face? You dare say that to my face, Sophia! I am not afraid of you, Kelvin. How can you be so treacherous? Baby, listen. I am the IPO of this case. And I can twist it to the direction that I want. Okay? You can be the accomplice to the mother of Jane. Get that into your head, okay? Get that into your head. No, you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I recorded our discussion from the beginning. Yes, I did. You, you what? <laughs> Baby, she recorded our discussions. Yes, I did. Huh. In that case, you will remain missing. <laughs> Goodbye, love. What is that? It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? Are you all right? Are you, what happened? Huh? It's a long story, but thank God it's all over. Okay, fine. I, I want to know what, I, what this is what happened. Where did you find her? Huh? Your wife was kidnapped. What? 
Look at that. Wait, what? 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 Are you okay? Are you sure? It's okay. It's okay. Let's, you know what? Let's just go in. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, interesting. Hello? My name is Timo. I work for Oga Curl. What? Why? What's going on? What's going on? He didn't tell me. He just said if I told you this, you would understand. Hurry, oh, please, madam. Hello? Hello? From then on, I didn't see Kelvin again until that last night. I was confused. I didn't know what to do, Mom. I didn't. And all I could do was just pray. I waited and I, I knew something had gone wrong with our initial plan. And uh, who was Kelvin to you, if I may ask? Kelvin, Kelvin was just my classmate. He was a notorious cult guy from the university. I ran into him some time ago and we exchanged numbers and when this idea came to my mind, I contacted him. That was it. Nothing more. Nothing more, please, I'm sorry. Fred, you know I love you and I would never do anything to hurt you. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. I'm sorry. Please. You know you're wicked? Do you know you're wicked? Don't say that. How could you? How could you make me go through all that? I love you. Are you new here? You shut up! Are you new here and tell me that you love me? You love me. Love me how? Well, I go through all of this and then you are now supposed to live under the same roof as man and wife. How? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not possible. I wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> mom, I wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> Please, mom. I was still trying to recover from his madness. 
And you started your Sophia. What if they had killed you? No. You didn't even think of me and your brother? Who even told you that's the way to change a man? Who told you that? Mom. Both of you are just two mad people. Mom, please, I'm begging you. Settle your case by yourself. Mom, I'm begging you for me. Now. Mom, please. Man, please, I'm sorry. Please. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do Please, I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to be like this. You should know that I love you, but I would never hurt you. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. I'm sorry. <laughs>